it's either Pioneer doesn't want to cooperate or Serato doesn't want to cooperate, but this is BS. This should this should be plug and play. Come on, how is it going down? What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog and uh, welcome to a special edition unboxing. I'm here with my boy DJ Exclusive. You guys remember him from that gig vlog that we did uh, in the summertime. And he just got some brand new equipment. Did you sell your SX? Uh, no? no, I'm going to keep it. Are you going to keep it? Yeah. Oh, shit. You're going to have two systems now. Yeah. I'm excited to show you guys. So I actually asked him if we could film this and uh, he was down. You ready to do this, bro? Let's do it. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna hand over our handy dandy uh, box opening shank to the homie DJ exclusive. Do it, bro. Do it. I'm excited. It's gonna be awesome. Now you gotta talk to the audience while you're doing it, bro. Ooh. Take it out. Take it out. First up, we have the XDJ 1000 MK2s. I actually didn't even know these existed. Really? Yeah. When you sent me this, I was like, what the hell is the XDJ? Um, apparently, this is a CDJ just like the 2000s. Except without the CD part. So it's XDJ. And I'm thinking these will eventually replace the actual CDJs. They did strip it down a little bit. I guess they didn't want to compete with their own CDJ line. Because I'm guessing if they put all the features that they put in the 2000s into this one, nobody would buy the 2000s because nobody wants CDJs. Yeah. anymore because nobody uses cds yeah just Back the time the codes just the time yeah. codes and now i don't even use time codes because uh you can use them in hid mode you can just connect them directly to the computer but uh apparently this is uh just the cdj without the cd part we'll take a look at it in a little bit <laughs> ready for this one everybody's favorite mixer we have the Pioneer S9 mixer, and we got one more else. What else did you get? He told me he only got one CDJ. Did you get two? No, this is the case for the CDJ. Oh, the case? Oh, you're yeah. gonna keep them separate? Yeah. Let's unbox it. He's gonna keep them separate. I don't know if you guys have seen my videos when I've done them with Blenny. He does the same thing. He only uses one. You really only need one. This is the same idea that I wanted to do. Yo, you might sell me on this. I don't really don't need another console, but this is exactly what I want. Is it Odyssey? Odyssey here. We got fresh gear, bro. So fresh. That's not the case. Doesn't come until tomorrow. All right. Um. So here we go. We have everything. We have an Odyssey FZCDJ. All right, bro. Go for it. Unbox the other ones. This is the one I've been waiting for. Bro. This is the one that everybody's been waiting for. There we go. Oh, I give you vinyl? Yeah, oh, I give you Serato vinyl. So the S9 does come with official control vinyl, more than just a piece of wax. Oh, time codes? Yeah, I think so, right? So, what? They still give you time Special codes? Control CD yeah, yeah, they still give you time codes with the S9. <laughs> I didn't know. I haven't unboxed a mixer in a long time. And of course, you of course have uh, your USB cable, USB B to USB regular. And you also have a power cord, IEC cord in gray. Uh, the length, I'm not so sure. But honestly, you don't need those to be you ready. Long. Yeah. Yeah. Check it out, bros. Got the two channels. Got the fader. Oh, it's not that clicky. There's say something about yeah. It. You can you can uh, take this apart to make it more clicky. I actually like it when it's a bit more clicky. Do you guys like it when it's soft like this? I like it. Oh, I like it when it's clicky as hell. Yeah, me and my bad scratching. <laughs> I heard though that the paint that the paint fades on this. Didn't so be careful with that. You got all kinds of control on the S9. You can pretty much do everything. I actually used this at a wedding once and I didn't know that you could do so much with the faders. Like you can literally inverse the fader. If that ever happens to you, you're gonna be like, what the hell's going on? So you can make it that this is up and this is down. And that's what happened to me at a wedding I got to. I was like, yo, what's going on? I, I, I'm switching between channels and nothing was coming out. Because I guess some turntable lists get crazy and put this thing sideways and I don't know. <laughs> you can do a, all kinds of stuff. Right here, reverse for channel one and reverse for channel two. So be careful with that, bro. Make sure you have that off all the time. Bro, we were freaking out. Like, we could not <laughs> figure out why no sound was coming out. Oh, man. And it just turned out that somebody just flipped these up. 
I should have did that just to mess with you. <laughs> you have your talk over, your microphone stuff here. One of the things that I hate about this mixer that I, such a simple fix, I wish they would have put two microphone inputs. Let's take a look at the inputs here in the back. You only have one mic input. I wish they had two. You have auxiliary in, channel one, CD line, phono, CD line, and phono for channel two. XLR outputs, you have master RCA out. Booth TRS out, and you have A B connection, so you can connect two laptops, and then you just swap up here at the top, depending on which laptop you want to be on. Yeah, this is dope, bro. Yeah, one of my favorite things about this mixer is uh, the way you launch effects. You press up to lock it. If you hold it down, it'll hold the effect. You let go, and it lets go of the effect. All right, let's open up the next one. This is the one I'm excited to see. I've never seen this one. The X. DJ 1000 Mark II. I didn't even know there was a Mach 1. Yeah. Get RCAs. Ethernet connection. Power cable. Yo, it's pretty big. Right, here we go. Yeah. We go. Bro, it looks just like the 2000. Our right, first thing that I noticed off the bat, it doesn't have the cues though. And it doesn't have the jog adjust. How is it? I like mine a little... A little uh, loose. I know some people like it heavy. It's, it's pretty light. The 2000 is a little bit more robust. But that one looks more modern. It's got like a like a shiny gloss to it. I don't think mine is as glossy as that. Size comparison. I know a lot of you guys have the S9. And it's like the same size. So $3,000 right here. This is what I want. But I want two of these. Boom, boom. <laughs> So because I have one of the newer MacBooks, we're going to be using this USB-B to USB-C. Two inputs going to the computer, going from the CDJ into the computer, mixer into the computer. Did it come on? Oh, there we go. First boot. It's got a USB input there. There we go. So this is touchscreen. I don't think mine is touchscreen, but we have link USB. I don't know if we're going to need drivers. We'll see if it just recognizes it from the start. Oh, it recognized it. Recognized it. So everything loaded up, as you guys can see, Serato DJ Pro uh, booted up. And this right now is asking me to connect. It's actually the same uh, kind of interface that's on my CDJ 2000s. It's connecting. It's connecting. So we did some research and we think we found out why uh, it's not connecting to the computer. Apparently, this isn't supported by uh, Serato, Serato DJ. The Pioneer S9 booted up, no problems, no issues, but the XDJ 1000 Mark II is saying that it's not compatible with Serato DJ Pro. We've been doing some research and I don't know. I hope that's not true because if you yeah. got to use a time code, that's bullshit. All right, so we just did some research. It says using the Serato DJ and CDJ's media player HID mode, whatever. Um, so basically, HID mode basically turns your CDJ or in this case, XDJ into an actual platter that works with Serato. So that means it'll enable you to use Q. It'll enable you to use the pitch all within the Serato software. When you use time codes, when you use time codes, essentially it's just a signal, so it's just sending out a signal that's telling Serato when to press play. So basically all you have is a fancy play and stop. And that's not cool because, come on, it's, it's 2018, who wants to do that? You're better off with a controller. Just checked online and here it says, here's a list of the devices. You have the CDJ850, CDJ900, 900 Nexus, 2000, 2000 Nexus, 2000 Nexus 2, XDJ1000, that's the one that we have here, except this is the 1000 Mark II, so I think that's the issue. We can give we can give this a try, let's try it out in uh, internal mode. So one of the things that I don't like about this mixer is the fact that the trim is on the right as opposed to on top. That's a weird design choice for me. I would have liked to have seen it here, but whatever. It is what it is. I was stressing looking for the trim, and it was right here all along. Let's try and see if it works. Yeah, I love that the filter keeps going. Or I should say the reverb. Keeps
<laughs> Damn, bro, you're gonna have fun with that. I know. I'm just about the other thing. Yeah, there's nothing we can do with this, man. This sucks. Yeah, you need the 1000. Plug it in, bro. So here's what Serato says when you plug this in. We're gonna unplug it and he's gonna replug it, and you'll notice that Serato recognizes it. But it says error. Boom, it says loading error. How many of you guys knew that that wasn't gonna work? I'm kinda bummed that that doesn't work. It's either Pioneer doesn't wanna cooperate or Serato doesn't wanna cooperate, but this is BS. This should, this should be plug and play. Come on, how is the 1000 supported but not the Mark II? So, we're gonna have to do it the way that we used to do it back in the day, back when uh, the dinosaurs roamed the earth. So here's how old school time codes work. Time code is essentially just a long beep. beep. We used to print them onto CD discs and insert them into the CDJs and basically that would be how we would control Serato. Serato Scratch Live, not Serato DJ. I've since stopped using it because I've had 2000s for a while and even in the clubs, most clubs started switching to the, um, what is it, SZ. So for a while now, we haven't really used time code. So uh, here's the idea. We're gonna put a time code signal on this little USB. We're gonna plug the USB into our CDJ XDJ. <laughs> then we're gonna run a time code signal but I told uh, DJ Exclusive that it's just not worth it. It's not worth it to keep. So if you're in the market for one of these bad boys and you want to use Serato, um, don't recommend. Don't recommend getting it because time codes is dated. That means he's always going to have to have a USB around and that's, that's, that's pointless. So this is what a time code signal is. You're about to hear it right now. This is what us DJs used back when Jesus walked. You hear that? 15 minute long signal and by the way the trick that we used to do back in the day is we used to loop it so that the signal never ran out and that's something that a lot of DJs didn't know I remember I used to spin with a lot of Latin DJs and they would be like sometimes my CDJ stops working and then I would tell them I was like it's not that the CDJ is not working it's that you have to rewind the time code then we get track number two and track number two is actually to scroll through your music library so they would be like look it's broken but it was actually the audio file that makes it scroll through your music. Good old days, Spanish DJ, Spanish DJ problems. It noticed it, so right here I have track one, track two, like I told you, track one is the actual signal, track two is the library signal. So we're gonna come out of here, RCA. Cool, now we're gonna switch this to uh, relative. There we go. And now we should work. <laughs> Think you gonna do that or you gonna return it? Decisions is I don't know. I I would return it. I, I don't think it's worth it. Yeah. Try it, bro. <laughs> Is it weird? I don't it, know. It, it does feel a little weird. I'm not gonna lie. I'm used to it a little bit looser. Bro, so there you guys have it. An unboxing and first demo of the Pioneer S9 mixer. I'm like this close to getting it. I'm just, <laughs> I'm super broke and I got bills to pay. Julio don't know about that bill like yeah, that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, I'm gonna definitely get an S9. This was what I was gonna get, but now I'm gonna put it on pause. I'm not gonna get it because this doesn't work with Serato. Pioneer S9 mixer, five out of five. Highly recommend uh, XDJ Mark II if you wanna use it with Serato, zero out of five. Do not recommend, do not buy. It's not a good buy. So what's the plan? Are you gonna return this or what? Yeah, we're gonna return it and uh, I don't know I was thinking <coughs> either the 2000s maybe leave some comments down below if you think who this should get the 2000 yeah. I keep telling him though the 2000s is not worth it because for what he wants to do is not worth it because the 2000s are $2,000 players that's more than the mixer that's crazy that's a $1,000 media player i keep wanting to say cdj xdj that's about a thousand dollars a thousand and some chain the thing about the 2000s is it's gonna do the exact same thing for another thousand dollars i just don't think it's worth it but what i would do and if i was in his shoes i would send that back and i would try to get a mach one and the main reason why we don't like doing it this way why we don't like having a time code signal is because if you forget this 
you're fucked. If you leave this dangling and it could damage the CD player. And not to mention when you use a timecode signal, Q button doesn't work. Loop in and out doesn't work. Scroll doesn't work. Um, nothing works. Essentially, you're just playing. Yeah, pitch doesn't even work because it, um, it doesn't work in time with Serato. So there's a little delay. Essentially, you're just paying for a thousand dollar jog wheel. But no, it's 2019, bro. Oh, we could just go internal. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is a great mixer to go internal. I mean, at least you have your, your cues here. So there you have it, a complete unboxing of the Pioneer S9 and the XDJ1000 Mark II, which I didn't even know existed until today. I didn't know, I mean, it, it makes sense. I would think all CDJs should go without the CD part. XDJ is the future, except it doesn't work with Surat. Yeah. This thing came out last year though, so it's been out for a year and it still has no support. If you could get the Mark I, that's good. The difference between the Mach 1 and the Mach 2, we did research, is just the digital out. Who, who the hell uses digital out? Do you guys use digital out? But again, I want to send a big shout out to my uh, homie, uh, DJ Exclusive. Follow him right here on social media. Thank you so much for letting me uh, film your unboxing, bro. No problem. Appreciate right. it. So that's going to do it for this video, bros. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to share with a friend on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, all that good stuff. Like this video if you like this. Subscribe if you're new around here. And if you really want to help us out, don't forget to turn on that bell so you can be notified next time me and DJ Exclusive link up when he gets his uh, his replacement uh, player, media player. Coming soon. All right, bro. Stay awesome. Peace.